Rituximab is a medication used to treat cancers as well as some autoimmune conditions. In this video, I will teach you a visual mnemonic to remember everything you need to know about rituximab for the NCLEX. Let's go! For today's video, you're going to be my plus one to my favorite actor's fancy beach wedding. Being a Hollywood actor, of course, the groom is wearing a striking red tuxedo. By the way, this red tux is our symbol for the drug rituximab. You can even think of it as red tuximab, if that helps. Now that we have this red tux to anchor us to the drug name, let's move on to learn more about how rituximab works in the body. This wedding is sponsored by 20th Century Fox, as you can tell from the sign. After all, the movie star has done a lot of acting work with them. The big 20 in 20th Century Fox is the symbol for CD20. CD20 is a protein marker found on the surface of B cells. Rituximab attaches to this CD20 maker, causing the eventual death of B cells. So why might this be useful in the clinic? Let's find out. Like you would expect at a beach, there are crabs crawling around. One is even crawling across the movie star's foot. Here at Pixarize, we use a crab to symbolize cancer. You know, because the zodiac sign for cancer is a crab. It's the cancer crab. Rituximab is used to treat cancer, specifically cancers of B cells like lymphomas and leukemias. Like I mentioned before, rituximab is a cancer therapy that specifically targets B cells. It should make sense that it can stop the spread of B cell cancers. The groom there is waiting for his bride to walk down the aisle and isn't quite paying attention to his surroundings. His red tux got too close to one of the tiki torches and caught on fire. Luckily, the priest had a fire extinguisher close by to put out the flames. You know, this fire extinguisher also reminds me of how rituximab has anti-inflammatory effects. Just like how the fire extinguisher is putting out these inflammatory flames, rituximab can put out inflammation in the body. Rituximab is used to treat inflammation associated with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. This should make sense since B cells are responsible for a lot of this autoimmunity and rituximab suppresses the function of B cells. Just remember this fire extinguisher to remember rituximab's anti-inflammatory effects. Because rituximab targets B cells specifically instead of all rapidly dividing cells like most chemotherapy drugs, rituximab is not associated with the standard chemo side effects like bone marrow suppression, nausea and vomiting, or hair loss. Instead, it's got its own set of side effects. Let's cover the most important one you need to know as a nurse. You know how at weddings they have those fancy water dispensers infused with fruit? The movie star was chugging some infused water since it can get pretty hot here at the beach. But it looks like the infused water was a bit too chilly because he looks a bit sick. See how he's all shaky and pale? When you think of the man getting sick from the infusion, remember that rituximab often causes people to get an infusion-related reaction. This basically happens right after the drug is infused via an IV line and manifests as hypotension, tachycardia, shortness of breath, or even a rash. If the patient experiences an infusion reaction syndrome, the infusion should be stopped, the provider should be notified, and the nurse should be prepared to administer epinephrine, steroids, or oxygen as directed by the provider. Now that we've covered the most important facts about rituximab, let's quickly summarize what we've learned here. Rituximab is a medication that targets the CD20 protein marker on B cells to suppress their function. It is used to treat B cell cancers like lymphomas and leukemias. Rituximab can also be used to reduce inflammation caused by autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis. Since it specifically targets B cells, rituximab does not cause the generic chemotherapy side effects like bone marrow suppression or GI upset. It can, however, cause an infusion-related reaction, so the nurse should be prepared to stop the infusion and notify the provider if they notice any signs of hypotension, tachycardia, and shortness of breath after giving the drug. I think the wedding is about to start, so we better take our front row seats. After all, it's not often you get to see a movie star this close up. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.